pretty good. And I, I think it's worth sharing this. Um, yeah, it's very thought provoking. If yeah. You, if you read through the different things, it's like, wow, some pretty profound words. Yeah, I agree. And I, and I think, you know, going into the new year, throwing these out there to everybody is is the right move. I think getting it out there, because this is for everybody out there. This is not, this yeah. is not just for real estate agents. And, you know, it's this no. is something that we all should do. I mean, this is just what we should yeah. live this year for. I wanted to print some out and stick them around places, you know, like you do on your vanity mirror or on your desk or whatever. Yeah, yeah, I want to keep them out the forefront, year. right? Yeah, yeah. So here, here's kind of what he, um, just a couple um, excerpts, and then we'll get into a couple quotes he added. But he said, my wish for you in 2021, I wish you a very happy new year, a year full of blessings, a year of plenty, a year of contentment and happiness, a, a year where there is much more good than bad, much more happy than sad. And I think that's absolutely true. Um, and a lot of times, those type of statements right there, it comes down to a choice, right? Yeah. I, yeah, I think we can all... You have to choose it. You have to choose to look at the happy, you know, focus on the happy over the sad sometimes. You do. Um, it's not always going to be evident. There's going to be a lot of bad stuff that happens, obviously, throughout the year. We're not being naive to that. But when that bad stuff happens you can choose your response to what that bad stuff is. And I, and I, th I just think that's good. Uh, 2021 is a year of opportunity. Work harder than you ever have and claim your opportunity. In other words, claim it. You're not going to get it just by waiting. I mean, if we go back to like the talking with Johnny and Deanna and you, you're just not going to, nothing's going to happen if you're just waiting for opportunity to land in your lap. It's true. So here are a few New Year's quotes that I really like that may help provide a little inspiration. We will open the book. Its pages are blank. We are going to put words on them ourselves. The book is called Opportunity, and its first chapter is New Year's Day. So when it begins, Edith Lovejoy Pierce said that. Yeah, I think that's really important right now. I know a lot of people were anxious and happy to see 2020 go away and, and looking forward to 2021. But I know some people were discouraged that things weren't instantly different. You know, like we didn't all wake up the next morning and, and have everything not be the same as it was the day before. Um, yeah. But I do think there's, you know, there's a light at the end of the tunnel where we're seeing things getting better and better. And hopefully soon, you know, it, it will be more and more, you know, normal for us. Yeah, I, I agree with that. What the new year brings to you will depend a great deal on what you bring to the new year. Burn McLellan. Yeah. I mean, yep. <laughs> that, that speaks for itself. I hope that in this, uh, as he learned from yesterday, live for today, hope for tomorrow, Albert Einstein. So I think that's good. If we break that down, we look back and we see not, we don't focus on the things that are bad that we can't change, but we take the ones that we maybe could not have changed, but the ones we can learn from, apply that to our lives. We then do not worry and fret about the future. We live now in the presence based on what we have learned in the past, make decisions based on that. And then we are hopeful and joyful for what the future brings. Great mindset. Yeah, it is. All right, last one. I hope that in this new year to come, you make mistakes. Because if you are making mistakes, then you are making new things. Trying new things, learning, living, pushing yourself, changing yourself, changing your world. You're doing things you've never done before. And more importantly, you're doing something. Neil Gaiman. Yeah. I mean, you can't fail if you don't try. So, you know, some of the things are going to be a hit and some of the things are going to be a miss. But the important thing is that you keep swinging, you know, that you keep trying. That's right. And, and, and embrace the mistakes. Embrace the failures. Yeah. Keep going out there and doing it. I mean, you know, we're That's doing this live show. We're not said. experts at this. No, no, not even close. <laughs> it takes us out of our comfort zones. I mean, My this, phone's you know. still ringing. <laughs> <laughs> Good old real estate never ends. So, all right, that's the end Let's of this show, guys. Oh, go ahead. Year anniversary, real quick, before you wrap up. 
Yes. So if, if people weren't logged on in the very beginning of the show, it is Century 21's 50th anniversary this year. That's that's huge. And that shows some real longevity for our franchise. Man, absolutely true. Um, you know, that is one thing to absolutely mention. I don't, I've quite frankly never come across somebody that when they ask who you work for and I say Century 21, I got to follow that up with an explanation on no, that we're a real estate never. company. Ever. No. I've never had that happen. So that says something to a brand that's been around here that for 50 years now, 50 years. Well, it's been the number one most recognized real estate company for decades and decades of that time. So, yes, 